Hi, and uh, welcome to TechFish Tutorials. This is going to be a quick tutorial uh, just showing you how to quickly create a system restore point in Windows 7. Uh, I'll also show you quickly how to configure them um, and how to go through with a system restore should you need it. Okay, so in Windows 7, it, it's similar in Windows 10 and Windows 8. In Windows 10, you'd right click on the start menu and select control panel, get it to that way. In Windows 7, however, all you have to do is just click on the little globe down here, start, then go to control panel. Now if your control panel doesn't look like this, it's basically because you've got it set to category view. So at the top here, you see view by, see category view, and that's how it looks by default. If you change it to small icons, it makes it a lot easier for you to access everything in the control panel. Okay, So once in the control panel, click on system. Then up on the left here, click on System Protection. Okay. Now under System Protection, your local disk C, which is where your operating system should be installed to. Some people that may be different. However, most is going to be C. Make sure that the protection is actually on. If it's not, make sure and turn it on. Okay. At the moment, what we're going to do is just simply create the restore point. Uh, important times when you might want to manually do this is if you're testing out say a new program antivirus you're going to install whatever um, create a restore point because you never know with programs sometimes they could you know bug up your system or uh, cause something cause something to not work properly and uh, uninstalling it doesn't really get rid of the issue you might think right now I need to go back in uh, in time maybe a day or something go back uh, to the restore point and hopefully be back to normal. Um, so, right, let's create a restore point. So, restore point here, click create. Um, so, what we've done is basically we just about installed a new program, new antivirus, or have a little play in the registry, which you shouldn't do unless you kind of know what you're doing, but because uh, you can really brick your machine. Uh, so, we're going to create a restore point. So, before awesome program okay and all you have to do is just click create okay uh, it should take about five to ten seconds uh, obviously it depends on how much uh, data is on your machine or how quick your machine is once it's done click close and uh, that's it now say you've installed your new program and uh, sods law everything's gone wrong and you think right really need to get back to that restore point that I just created so if you click on system restore you get to it exactly the same way by the way um, in your control panel go system system protection under the system protection tab click on C which is where the restore points are for this one click on system restore now you can use a recommended restore area but for this we just want to make sure that we have gone back to the correct one so click on choose a different restore point and then go to next and there's a restore point I just created okay so there's other restore points here if you think there's any more click on the box down here that says show more okay and there's only one more popping up there they're not created by Windows that often so it's uh, you'd be sensible to actually do this maybe once a week or at least every time you install something or have a little play in the registry okay so make sure you do that because it will save your life um, Okay, so that's basically it. So if you want to do restore to this point, obviously select it and then go through next and obviously go through the, um, the little steps that it'll take you through there. It's really, really simple to do, okay? So I'm gonna cancel this one. Um, configuration, you might wanna know about this. Um, if you click on, obviously select C uh, with system so on. If you click configure, you can actually allocate a certain amount of your hard drive space to system restore points. Okay, and the system restore points. I mean, obviously they're going to change in size depending on how old your machine is, how used it is, how much data there is, that kind of thing. Uh, now you can allocate as much as you like, but beware. You also don't want to be going and allocating, say, uh, I don't know, 200 odd gigabytes to system restore, meaning that you could hold loads and loads of restore points, which is good because obviously, you know, the more the merrier. But um, the thing with system restores is 
the more you have, say I've only got, let's say, I'm going to set it to about uh, 8, that'd be fine. 8 gigabytes in total is how much I'm going to use. Uh, current usage is 8.3 gigabytes. I've allocated myself 8.94. Um, now, the older restore points uh, are going to get deleted by the newer ones as they're written. Okay, so uh, obviously, the more you kind of allocate for restore points, the better you can have more on there. But make sure you check on your computer and your local disk C how much space you've actually got. On mine, I've only got what, 51, 52 gigabytes left, uh, so I'm not going to allocate that much to it. Um, but for me, I mean, that's perfectly fine, so I'm just going to apply okay that that's uh, not an issue okay um, that basically covers the really kind of basic areas of how to create a restore point and how to configure should you need to and how to actually go through and actually do a system restore okay it's quite an important thing to do so any questions let me know in the comments cheers